All right, guys, Kazoo 71 here, Ark Survival Ascendant on the island. I uh, want to start this episode and show you guys a little bit about, uh, you'll see my base a little, but what I did was I saw I was collecting stone and I saw something in the sky, so I want to come up here and check it out. So I'm going to fly up here and, and check this thing out and see what it is. Um, it looks like a glitch, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Maybe it was a supply drop that was supposed to come down and never did. That's kind of what it looks like, because when you fly straight down, and I'll fly straight down once I get to it, um, it looks like where that supply crate sometimes falls. You can see my base. I'm working that down there. But uh, in this episode, I'm going to show you guys just a, a couple of little things I was doing. This is still in November. Game came out December. I mean, October. So this is the month after it came out. Here we are to the top. And there's just nothing. I flew above it and there's nothing there. It's just weird. It's just some weird glitch. So I'm saying though, when I recorded this, so you guys will understand there... I was having a lot of trouble with sound, a lot of trouble with the game. The game had a lot of glitches still in it. It still does have a lot of glitches, but they've improved some of these, so we'll see how this works. But uh, this is, in this part, there's going to be a part of this vocal that's not the vocal part, but the uh, game part that gets a little muffled. But I didn't want to cut it out and not show you guys, so it's not, it's not irritating and annoying. It's just kind of weird. But uh, so going forward a little bit here, another day here on the game. I'm looking around for Baryonyx. I want to start doing some caves. So at this point in the game, Wildcard has not released the cryopods in the cryofridge yet. So they're still keeping it not. So I'm using a mod for the cryopods at this point. And I have three of them in my hand. And these work like the normal cryopods. And I like this new thing they did on Ark Survival Ascended. So you can pick up something in a cryopod and drop it anywhere you want. Right? So what we're going to do here is you can see I just saw there's an Alpha Carno here. There's a Xenosaur, there's a Spino here. I'm just trying to find me a Baryonyx, like I said. And there's one swimming in the water right there to the right, you can see. So we are going to kind of loop down here a little bit. Check it out. There's a level 100. Not the greatest in the world, but it will work to start with. I just need something. So try to get a higher level one later. But we're going to start with this 100 guy. And we'll see how this works. So I have a long neck rifle on me with some shock, not shocking, but tranquilizer darts also have my crossbow now you can see the levels in my HUD I have a couple of Mastercraft I have an ascendant crossbow everything else is prim primitive what I've been doing is picking these up from the drops so quite a few drops and uh, you get some good stuff as long as you have it turned up a little bit I don't have it turned up too much but I'm picking up stuff here and there and now normally and this is this is one of the weird things how they change the AI of the the dinos and stuff to kind of walk around structures and stuff like that baryonyx normally would have saw me and attacked me it was right there in front of me so it just turned and walked off i don't get them so and then i'm shooting it i'm right here in front of it normally i know it's attacking something but normally shooting this thing like this it would come after you it's not coming after me so weird i don't know if they fixed this or not i don't think they did um I'm not trying to tame a baryonyx. Maybe it's just a baryonyx, but playing on scorched earth now and stuff and doing some of these things, I don't see these dinos running from you so much. Now they're running at you, so maybe it was just early on like this. Maybe it's just a baryonyx. I don't know. But look at him. He's not even coming to me. It's weird. And then he's going to glitch right here and just stand there. And that gave me a chance to shoot him because I was missing him. And you guys saw such a bad shot I am when that thing's moving around. I think it's like... Um, <laughs> Not necessarily me being a bad shot. I don't think it was where it was. So if I'm shooting it in one spot, it wasn't really there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to switch. I'm going to put my crossbow. We're going to put regular arrows in there so we can get some fish. We need to shoot some regular fish to, to feed this guy. They like the fish meat. Their base one, um, as far as regular food, not kibble, is the prime, prime fish meat. But to get that, the only way you're going to get that right here is to kill a big saber, saber tooth salmon. Like that. Raptor! Raptor attack! It's not an alpha raptor. I'm switching my sword. Oh crap. There's even a sword. Um, hello. Yeah, that, nah, I don't think I can fight two of those. So let's get my RG on whistle. I don't want to bring him over here by this berry, so let's see what we do. I'm going to put him on passive. Alright, we're going to jump on real quick and we're going to fly away. Hopefully he don't hit the berry. Let's get away. He hit me. He'll probably hit the berry. It was right there. God, I shouldn't have done that. I should have went a little further away. That's okay. Let's kill this theory. 
All right, he's down. Pretty easy. I don't. It's not a super bird, but this bird does work. Cool. And for some reason, guys, I don't know what it was. I, I looked at this video. I was trying to edit this thing, and I looked at it like four or five, six times, trying to figure this out. There was another baryonyx here when I was looking at it. It was a level five. It was kind of red, and I killed it, and then I harvested it. But I can't find in the video where I killed it, even though I saw it when I first looked at it. I'm, I'm like so confused. So I just gave up. So that part won't be in here because I can't find where it was in the video clip. Like, if you guys don't edit edit videos don't know this, like, you, I'll record, like like an hour hour and a half of this stuff and then when I cut it down to show you guys it's only like 10 15 20 minutes at the most I'm gonna show you guys the whole hour and a half of me flying around doing things so it takes a lot of video just to put a little bit out as you guys know if you if you edit it all so these piranha I'm gonna get rid of these piranha here there's another one getting me and we'll get these sabers piranha as you know you only get fish meat from them. you don't really get much fish meat at all either so Piranha like one of the worst ones. Not even a good thing to tame a shadow meme with. Piranha are horrible. So, I killed... I think I killed a saber tooth over here. Yeah, he's right there. He's on the bottom. This is one of those glitches I was telling you guys about. So, there's a big saber tooth salmon. You could possibly get prime fish meat from it. It's big enough. This is a big... But I can't, I can't harvest it. It's stuck in the ground. And it's like it's not there. It's probably in the mesh. So that's one of the problems you have that is really strange with the game when it first came out and it's still some of these issues are still there like I said some people are still seeing these things and I watch a couple of videos from other people and, and they're, they're making comments on them too so but I can't harvest the thing nothing I'm trying to store trying to hatch it nothing's working it's like it's not there it is there but it's not there so can't get any prime fish meat we're gonna have to wait for regular fish meat this takes a while but as you guys know if you watch my videos I'm not gonna sit here and run the video the whole time while I wait for it this one's floating so the cola cast or whatever those are killable the prime I mean the piranhas are killable so both of those you can get and harvest but for some reason these saber tooth salmon keep spawning into the rocks and stuff when you kill them so and if you guys if you guys played the game, you know that not all saber tooth salmon give you prime fish meat. It's only the really really big ones. So just going forward a little bit here, the guys tamed. I cut out a lot of the stuff. Didn't want to show you guys. There was a lot of glitches where the fish were in the in the ground and stuff and in the rocks. And so, but like I said, cryopods, not the wild card cryopods. This is the mod, and this one actually works. So I can cryopod the berry and I can release the berry wherever I want. Take it back home. I'm um, just going to fly around a little bit more. I want to show you guys just a little bit of this area here. As you guys saw when I first knocked it out, there was an Alpha Carno, a Spino, and a Therizinosaur. I killed, I cut some of this out, but I killed another Spino. I killed another Raptor. I killed another Carno. There's quite a few things around here. I was trying to keep everything away from me so they wouldn't be near the, the Baryonyx. But just kind of flying back towards the base here. I just want to show you guys, I'm, I'm going the opposite way of where that Alpha Carno was. I'm leaving that thing alone. I don't need to mess with it right now. I don't need it. But as we're flying back to the base, I want to show you guys something else. Look at this. That's another Alpha Carno. That's not the same one. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and kill this one. He's heading towards the base. We'll kill him just for the experience. So, if you've never seen me do this before, this is the easiest way to kill an Alpha Carno, I think. The easiest way to kill an Alpha Rex. And the easiest way to kill an Alpha Raptor on the island. Keep that in mind, okay? Um, you can kill them with Rexes and stuff, high level Rexes and stuff. I just like to hover over them and peck at them with the uh, Argentapes. If you got like two or three Rexes that you've worked on breeding and leveling up, you can take out Alphas pretty easy as long as they're not super high. And granite, and some people, that's why I gotta make sure I'm saying on the island, if you plan on other ones, you got some wyverns. Wyverns are really good at taking them out, especially the lightning wyvern. Take them out pretty easy. You will have to take breaks on the alpha rexes if they're high level, but the alpha wyvern is probably the easiest way to take them out. Not alpha wyvern, uh, lightning wyvern. It's always funny when you're pecking at one of these when other things join the fight. Like this Therizinosaur that just decided, hey, I want part of this. 
So, yeah, okay, well, you're gonna die too then. I'll kill you both. You got time for that. You both die. Keep the trike out. Don't hit the trike. I don't wanna fight a trike too. I could. But it's in a super high level RG. As you guys can see, I'm not doing tremendous amounts of damage on the hit points. That's the green ones, by the way. They hit me as the yellow ones if you're new to art. Most of you guys, if you watch this, you ain't new. But I started doing these videos a couple years ago when um, Wildcard released Ark Survival Evolved on, um, what's that platform? Not Steam, but Epic Games. And they gave it out for free. So a lot of people got the game for free. So a lot of people started playing it. So I did videos to help new players because... A lot of the videos that were out were, you know, five, six years old at the time, so a lot of things changed over that time. That's why I started doing these. I like helping people out, so it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, easy way to pick a Therizinosaur. The Therizinosaur, the new updates and the TLCs they did on them, they can do a lot of damage to you. Um, if you, they hit you head on, they can kind of stun you a little bit. So they do, they do do quite a bit of damage after that TLC update they did several years ago stupid bugs anywho so what i'm gonna do uh, at this point in the game i went and flew around the island i went into redwoods i set up a little trap and i'll show you guys later when i tame a th thylacolio so i set up a little trap but what it was set for is to pick up a thylo out of the redwoods carry it drop it in the trap and then trank it in the trap so i'm out of the redwoods um that's why i set it up and we'll eventually use it but I'm not going to use it for a while but i didn't want to show you guys and bore you me setting it up i set it up kind of close to the redwoods as close as i could get and then um, we'll show you guys that later. But here we are back at the base. Like I said, I flew around a lot. It's nighttime. This is the mod cryopods. You can pull out the baryonyx, throw them out here, as you can see. No problems. Um, but if you're using the wild card cryopods, you will have a problem. So you got to have this mod on for this to work. So. But if you guys enjoyed the episode, as always, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please make them. I do appreciate it, guys. Um, and I uh, hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.